This video is sponsored by Night Zoo Keeper. Hey everyone, if you saw yesterday's video, then you know that we have finished up some things at home that we were trying to finish up so we could start traveling again. And it won't be like extensive travel all the time. Sometimes it'll just be day trips. But we have found that even with day trips, it is super handy to have a travel bag for our kids to do back and forth in between one home to another. So today I wanna to turn around and show you what we have packed for our two tweens and two teens for traveling in 2022. Starting off here in the front, we have a hard pencil case right here. This is one of the more compact ones. Usually they're like twice the size this way, but for the travel bag purposes, this works out really well. What we have in here is we do have one pencil sharpener in here. I'll show you why in a minute. And also like make sure it's one that has the uh, catch on it so it will actually catch the shavings inside of it. We do always travel with travel bags. I may do that in another video. Let me know if you all wanna know like if, what we ca carry in our vehicle at all times when traveling and I will do that video. But for now, um, this does catch the shavings inside of it and then we can empty it into our trash bag as we go. This also has five, yes, five mechanical pencils inside of here because we need just pencils and not just coloring supplies. But back to coloring supplies, we have found that we prefer using these erasable color pencils from Crayola. They actually do erase really well and it helps to do like fine detail coloring. And I mean, we're traveling. We could hit, you know, a bump in the road or something or suddenly have to turn sometimes. And it's nice to be able to erase what you're doing as you're going. Also, sometimes we do travel with like worksheets and things for kids for school and we want them to be able to fix it if, you know, they need to for something that they might need to turn in that has to be for a specific color. So that's why we switched to using erasable colored pencils. And uh, we have found that like where crayons will melt in the heat, these actually don't. So I do have some crayons, I'll show you those in a minute. But normally in the summer, we don't keep those all the time, but these usually will stay in the truck all the time while we're traveling. So I do have two things that have color or crayons in them. These are travel packs that Kroger, oh eight six to eight years ago had and it was just like in one of their little markdown bins around uh winter uh back to school shopping like whenever you do the semesters and as you can see again like these are kind of starting to stick together a little bit where they've been in the travel bag definitely as you can see on here though like one of the crowns is already broken and they kind of feel like just not not 100 percent their norm but it's also still in the cooler months we're in february right now we still have february and march before it starts getting too warm to really even consider taking crayons on long road trips other than like the short trips there and back and when we do have this hotter months we do take the tra the travel bag out of the truck and try to keep it inside whenever we're not actually going back and forth but these do but at least provide like you know personalized something just for them to be able to do and they have some filled in but like you know some of these are still not completely filled in yet and some are so it still gives them a space to finish off all of these and once they finish off these i don't know we may not keep the cases or we might repurpose them for other travel needs but there are two packs of them here this is also basically the same thing this is a kit that you can buy at dollar tree this is after frozen 2 came out we used to have several of these. We'd actually bought several ahead of time to have for our cruise that ended up getting canceled in 2020. So we were gonna do them for that. Um, but it comes with like, a, just push over here, there's crowns right here, there's stickers, and there's an activity book inside of here. So it's like a full activity pack. And again, this is something like we've kept inside and it's still sealed, but we've had ones like uh, when Sophia the First used to be a big thing. It has Sophia the First, Vampirina, uh, Elena of Avalor, Cars, Lion Guard. Um, so there's some of the ones like my kids are so out of uh, Disney Junior now. So like, I don't know what's up to date, like what Jun Disney Junior popular things are, but like they had a lot of the Disney Junior ones, but they also have like the fairies and they have like Frozen 2. So, and Coco and little different packs like that. So always check your Dollar Tree to see if they have any little travel packs like that. I don't buy like a lot of their travel toys, but I do like their travel activity pack. Speaking of activity packs, this is actually one that they haven't finished off yet that they received at Biltmore. We were eating at the restaurant that used to be the stable at Biltmore and they gave them to the kids for free. Um, it was really cool. We had four kids in our party with this, my three plus one with the other person that we were with and they just gave it gave them to them and i thought that was really cool um like it has little fun facts and things on it, it has some information about biltmore some health things in it but they still haven't finished them off so we we're keep we usually keep stuff in here until they finish it off 
and then we find other things to do. Once we finish off the Biltmore one, I'll probably find another one like from a trip. I might do like a Smoky Mountains one or something and also maybe find something that's for a little bit older now that they're tweens and teens versus when we went to Biltmore, we only had like one tween at the time. Also in here, we still have just like basic coloring books. This one is from Dollar Tree. That one is from Dollar General. It's Star Wars and Lilo and Stitch. My kids are huge Disney fans. So of course we try to look for like anything Disney thing we can. This got a little bent in the bag and then one of them is missing. I think over our Smoky Mountain adventure in July of last year, we actually finished off one of the sketch pads. One of the kids will literally just like finish the one of these off in a week. Um, but there are 40 sheets in here. Uh, I still have two in here, so I need to get two more for the other two kids. But these are great because then they can just literally be drawing whatever they see out the window as they go. I have smaller ones that stay in their backpacks and I might do an updated back travel backpack video to show you like what they carry on a travel schooling day in their backpacks for hikes and things. But they have a smaller one of these that's spiral bound in their backpacks. But these are just for like in the car on the way to places. These are the detailed coloring books. Like they have these coloring books, but then they also have these super fine detailed ones. And it's really nice to carry these because it gives them like something fine and detailed to do. And it, it kind of fills a little more space than just like one of these style coloring books would. It gives them a little more to do and it's meant for a little bit older. So like it doesn't feel as, I don't know, as kitty to be coloring. So we have different prints and designs. Obviously Ocean's also a big print for us because we love uh, beach and ocean and things like that. Uh, and we also love Disney. So like anything like that is always a huge plus for us. This one over here is a Bible word find. It was something that one of the kids was gifted and I think usually my youngest uses this one and sometimes it has like verses and things that they can look up in here and use and what I like about it is that it's kind of a little more education based as well because like it practices like spelling and word finding and um, activities like that so it's also like stimulating learning it's not just like doodling and drawing it also is helping to stimulate learning and creativity as we're going that's, I mean that's like kind of a big theme right here is like it's it's not just busy things and things to keep them busy like sketching it gives them the creativity that they need and then this one also gives them a little more freedom with creativity within boundaries to kind of help them stay focused on what they're doing and then this one is a lot more like education based with words and things speaking of education based games let's talk about today's sponsor Night Zookeeper is an award-winning creative writing and drawing program for children ages 6 through 12 one of our absolute favorite things about Night Zookeeper is number one, it really gets my kids interested in doing the creative writing and learning to use words to describe and tell a story. Another thing that we love about Night Zookeeper is the fact that they can actually take their drawings and bring them to life on the website while they're playing the games and learning how to use adjectives and adverbs and piece together stories from describing a character to actually writing a story about that character they can also bring it to life in an actual book that they can hold with their hands. Your child can actually create the hero of the story in the book, Escape from Conform Prison. So whether they're playing the game online or they're actually reading a book with the character that they created, they are learning that reading and creative writing are an essential part of everyday life in such a fun and imaginative way. If you and your child want to try Night Zoo Keeper, you can try it with our affiliate code for free for seven days. After seven days, you get 50% off of an annual subscription. You can also use our affiliate code below to purchase the book Escape from Conform Prison where your child can create the hero of the story. Finishing up the rest of our activity bag, we have these. These were gifted to the kids one year for Christmas from a family member. And these are fun because I thought it would be just like a one time quick use thing and then they'd be done. But apparently like they can actually rearrange. That was kind of scary to kind of just like open straight to that. <laughs> They can open these up and then they can just kind of recreate these as they go and apparently they can use them over and over again until the stickers just eventually decide not to stick anymore. If you have trouble with kids who are still young enough to wear like they want to stick stuff to cars and if you're renting, I may not recommend this, but we haven't had any problem yet with the kids with these like putting them where they shouldn't because again, tweens and teens and definitely the tweens love these a lot more than the teens do so this is definitely more tween focused for just for our family for the teens one of the teens absolutely loves sewing so what i had her do was uh, last year i said you know why don't you for the activity bag find or put together a sewing kit 
that you could do while we're traveling and you know you could find like a little thing to already have cut out and all you gotta do is stitch it together so she pieced together a purse pattern that she has with different color threads and uh, pins to hold the pieces together and that way she can sew a purse while she's going because like if she did stuffed animals or something like that she would have to add stuffing to it but this because it's meant to be flat you don't have to like pack stuffing you can just do things like that so i may find more patterns like this of like flat things that she can hand sew while we're traveling and she loves hand sewing so that's really cool but she loved putting this together and just like finding little pieces of things to sew and it's you know something she can do with her hands while she's working on it uh, while she's listening to audiobooks or yeah while she's listening to audiobooks while we're traveling this one is actually more for me this was like a gift it was mostly for like seniors and things for things to keep them busy like when they're bedridden but this was also something that I just kind of wanted to do I mostly got it because uh, I love doing sudokus that's just kind of my thing but also I have found that sometimes the kids like doing these with me as well so I let the kids keep it in their activity bag and they can also because like you see here's more uh, word searches so sometimes I will if I'm writing which I most I do most of our driving but if I'm writing then this is something that I could do with them and this is also would go under the lines of something that we can do while we're at the hotel as well not just um, while we're driving so this is also mostly for my youngest tween these are mostly for younger kids and we have never had a problem with these. We've been using these since my teenager, who's going to be 15 this year, was like four years old. Like we, that's how long we've had these cases and we've had them for forever because we used to at least do like driving trips before we actually started traveling with the kids. And sometimes we would just go for drives and things. These are so super helpful for that. So the, if you've never been introduced to them, these are color wonders. I don't even know if you can still get these hard cases. Again, these are like 11 years old and they're still holding up just fine. And I left this one on top to show you. So like, even though she colored all of this blue, this design right here did not color. And as you can see, it very rarely colors outside of the paper. The Color Wonder markers only color on Color Wonder paper. And sometimes it leaves these little designs in the paper. So that's really super cool. I love using Color Wonders because of that. Because then they can just like make designs and things. And then here's the back. Uh, again, this is a Frozen 2 theme one. Um, like these snowflakes appeared when she colored the wall. So like little designs will pop up in here. And they don't color on anything else. I had one one time that I forgot to empty the truck like immediately. Or when we had a van. And I found one of these markers with the lid off like three days later. The marker was completely dry. No stain marks in my truck. I don't know if that'll always happen. But for us, it never ha it, we never had a problem with it. Now that I mostly just have one using them now. Well, what we do is that this one has the coloring sheets in it with some of the smaller markers because these packs came with smaller markers inside of them and then the second one has a lot of different colors in it because all the different packs usually come with different colors so we have colors from multiple different packs and you see a lot of purples because again Sophia the first used to be a big thing in our house my youngest was a huge Sophia the first fan so we used to have a lot of Sophia the first stuff but now she's really into like Frozen 2 and things like that um she's still into print all the girls are really into princesses they just may or may not admit it I'm also while I'm doing this making like a to-do list because I want to get a couple more sketch pads before we actually do another road trip road trip and I may go ahead and buy her another pack of these because I ask and she still wants more last couple of things on here I'll go ahead and start here so this was actually an Aldi's find that we recently found at our Aldi's Aldi's every now and then has some really cool activity things for kids that are just like activity activity things but we love them for travel we have some books in our travel schooling bag that are from Aldi I think we have one on stars I think and then we have one on geography so it's really cool so like we have some of those in our bag but our last Last trip in that section where they keep all that stuff we found that they had these keychain travel games and it was kind of bummed because like the box showed they had clue but we couldn't find clue and apparently like the way you play it with travel is they comes with a fold-out map and then like you uh, still play clue like normal you just have cards versus having teeny tiny pieces I think maybe it had some teeny tiny pieces I don't remember but I love the idea of playing guess who guess who is a game that I loved as a kid 
and I wanted to get it for our kit. Well, I've never bought like a full size version of it because they're expensive. It is crazy how much those games cost. Then when I found this, I was like, well, that's something they can play while traveling. One can be in the middle, one can be in the back, or they could be across from each other in the middle seats and they could play this together. And it comes with this little piece right here that will definitely hold that plastic piece on over. And I thought, wow, that was really cool because these pieces can sometimes break super easy. So this was something that I want to put in here. And I'll also say that like with stuff like this, before it goes in the trial bag, I'm probably going to open it all the way up because if not, you, you know, with kids, what's probably going to happen, this trash is going to end up somewhere under a seat somewhere or places that it shouldn't be. So I'm going to go ahead and open this before I put it in the bag, but I really am excited about this one. I'm hoping uh, the next time I make it back to Aldi's that they might have some more of these. The last three things are all bingo card style games. So these two are actually Chick-fil-A Kids Meal things. Um, I actually did not get them with Chick-fil-A Kids Meals. They were given to us. This one is super fun. So what you do with this one is like, so we'll just start with those two right there. Um, you give all the kids cards and then you just declare like, can you find, or who all has a card with a sun on it? So both these cards would be that. And it is not really like a winner. It's just kind of like a fun I spy thing to do with the kids while traveling. And this one's a little bit smaller and honestly it doesn't really keep their attention span super, super long, but it's still like something that'll keep their attention for like 15 minutes and have them looking to find something and it gives them something to do with their hands while they're working. So this one is basically um, very similar or can be played similar. You can also do the same thing or you can actually use it as a bingo card for finding things, um, which is similar to what this is too. So this is a bingo sheet that they would actually have to mark off and they would each be given one before we leave and they would have to mark it off as we go. And this is something that like, um, if you've never heard of the theory of time released games while traveling, it's you set a timer and you give kids new things within like certain time frame. Like when we were traveling down to Disney, we gave all the kids cups with reusable lids so that they could get drinks to take back to the uh, cabin room on the ship at night. They could get it during the day and then take it back up there at night and then they'd have a drink at night um, so that they could have something before bed if they wanted. What we did was like the first hour, it was like 3 a.m. in the morning. We told them to just, you know, try to rest, you know, relax, all that. And it actually did work, so thankfully. Um, but then like once it was light out, within the first hour of light out, um, they were given one of these to do. And then the next hour time frame, they were watching uh, a Disney DVD movie. And then the next hour, we would give them like this to do. So it's one of the time release games that we do is like on the longer trips, like we would wait and then give this to them. And then they could play something else or do something else once this was filled in as much as they could within that time frame. Well, this is basically the same thing. If they're not old enough to like draw or color anything, you can play this with them of being like, can you spot any of these items and there's different ones on each one or you can play it like the last one and say okay who has <laughs> I did not plan that who has a flag so you and the people with flags on theirs would win so that gives you kind of like two different games to play with those cards so that is it for our updated tween and teen travel bag again I'm gonna kind of piece together some more things as we go through the gear and things might change because by the end of this year I'll have three teenagers and one tween so it may change as we come and go and I've tried to do that through the years just since we started traveling in 2017 I started like trying to give you updates for each season each time that the kids kind of just outgrew something and this is kind of where we are right now it may change in a month from now it may change this time next year so we'll just wait and see thank you again to Night Zookeeper for sponsoring this video the affiliate link will be in the description below thank you again to the members for contributing to this video and helping us pay to continue to support this channel and thank all of you so much for watching and we will see you next time.